at whichever industry one looks these days, there are signs in varying degrees of mass production methods replacing the individual skills of the true craftsman. Yet no matter how brilliantly complex a machine, nothing can equal the artistry in man's dexterous fingers. For this reason, we visit a cabinet makers in Harold Hill, Essex, where Hepplewhite, Sheraton and Queen Anne furniture are reproduced in all their grandeur, but in miniature, by a team of craftsmen under the direction of Cecil's clan. Let's watch now as the woodcarver interprets the scaled down measurements he's been given in the form of intricate artwork. Wood carving is a dying art in this country, and its hopes of survival depend in most cases on individual families. Jack Croyer, for example, represents the third generation of wood carvers in his family. The miniatures are to a scale of one eighth the original size, yet this Georgian sideboard has nearly 100 separate pieces and has taken nearly 250 man-hours to create, apart from the time spent on making the hand-worked locks and handles. Items like this are part of a collection which is constantly on exhibition in different parts of the country. Everything is authentic to the minutest detail, even the tea service in miniature Crown Derby. At normal size, this type of period furniture is expensive enough, but the miniatures, which are only for exhibition, are practically priceless, although they're insured for a mere 6,000 pounds. And with exquisite workmanship like this, it's small wonder. The only minor parts not produced by the craftsmen at this factory are pieces that require special techniques, like the tiny locks and hinges for cupboards and sideboards, which were made in Switzerland, and handles for the chest of drawers, which were made by a watchmaker. When it takes six weeks to make one tiny chair, you can be sure it's not only a masterpiece, but something to give that often forgotten man, the craftsman, true satisfaction. <laughs> 